The mist solidifies into ice over the ancient creature, but it's not enough. You need both jets to affect a thing of this size. A layer of ice forms over the ancient creature, guaranteeing its slumber. Korthos is safe for now. Steam billows from the hidden entrance to an underground complex.
A mangled sewer grate leads to an old abandoned Kenneth manufactory. You enter one of the laboratories where decades ago House Kenneth first imbued mystical life into automatons. Much later, these automatons became the Warforge. The doorway ahead has been boarded up. Oddly, the work looks very recent.
A magical barrier humming with compressed energy resolutely blocks your path. You hope you can find a way to disable it somewhere. On the other side of this locked gate, you see a familiar sight. Caneth power crystals, like the one you saw in Korthos. But what are these ones powering? Icy jets of some alchemical compound coat these humming Caneth power crystals in a hard protected layer. You also notice several valves of various sizes spread around the room. 